Hey, welcome back everybody. Uh, today's gonna be a little on the shorter side than normal, but that's also because we had some very specific tasking to do on the F4, and we definitely found something that needs to get addressed before we can think about doing a high-speed taxi, and it involves the right main gear. So, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, well, what we got going on today? All right, so we got this right main tire off, Yep. and you can see we've got our torque tube exposed here. The reason we did that, number one, we got to put new rubber on that tire before we do our power taxi or anything. Number two, if you'll come around here with me, the jack point here, this is where you normally jack the aircraft up to, to just do, yep, to do a quick tire change so you don't have to lift the whole airplane. And this thing, it should only come out about that far. Uh -huh. And there's a little retaining pin that is, we believe sheared off and allowed this thing to come all the way out. Uh -huh. And it had some weight on it when it did. So you can see where Ooh, it bent and damaged the whole back of this tube so that when you try to put the jack point back in, it gets stuck. It gets stuck right about there and you can't close the door. So we're going to have to take that torque tube off, that piece. which there's some fun cotter keys all the way up in there that are hard to get in and out. Then we got to take this out and we're going to take it over to a machine shop and see if it can be repaired. And if it can, great. If not, we're going to have to go down to Walmart and uh, find a right main jack pad for an F4. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's kind of required, especially if we take this place, take this to different places where we need to change a tire. Oh, absolutely. I mean, even if something as simple as taxiing around or if you blow a tire out and you don't have any way to change it, uh, airport ops tend to get real mad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they want that airplane off the runway and soon. Exactly. Because the alternative, if we can't use that, is to do that. But also having to, to chain the strut so it doesn't extend. Yeah, and that's this has this was not a quick operation this morning, so yeah. not something that we can do operationally when we have the jet on the road or anything. Yeah. Well, all these little things. Yep. Three steps forward, two steps back. Yep. <laughs> it's like we're dancing or something. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Thanks, Will. Yes, sir. And before anybody asks, the brake stack did come out in the right order and the right orientation. I remember getting lit up the last time because a couple of those got flipped around. But yes, those did come out the right way. Over here on the back side of this. You know, like I told you, you want to consider placing the spring about a This is how we get the torque tube off, right? Yep. Big nut in here, and it's got about 400 and I think they said 20 foot pounds. Jeez. So, as I pull down up here, this is going to want to come down. So you're going to just support that for me. Don't let me move that as best you can. Watch your hand here, so you don't get pinched. All right, here we go. Hey! Hey! That's what you call enough ass. Still got it. And for all those people in the comments that are like, he's so fat. <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> reason I am. <laughs> Get your skinny ass out here and do this. <laughs> all right, we're good. Now that's how you put your weight behind, right? Yeah. <laughs> Why must I be so voluptuous? That's right. I'm not fat, I'm big boned. <laughs> okay, Carmen. Screw you guys. Screw you guys. I'm going home. So now we can use a socket wrench now, right? Yeah, now we should be able to do it damn near by hand, I think, at this point. Uh, I need a screwdriver. Uh, flathead? I can get this on here. Yeah, get the cotter keys out of that was fun. Yeah, thankfully it only took a few minutes. That wasn't too bad. So put them back in, it's going to be a real challenge. That's what we need to... Uh, stay to come off the neck. Jeez. That thing is on there. Yeah, is, it is. There's not a release button? No, not that I can see. There's got to be a there's got to be a catch or something there. Let's that go. Going to uh, pressure weld it. Yeah, it's kind of that pull. Coming. Coming. There, there we go. go. All right. Now. With some lube. So that should come out. Hey. Here's the washer. All right. There's the torque tube, right? Yep, this is the torque tube. All right. We'll take these screws out and then that mechanism will come out. Yep. All right, so that's a Phillips. Yep, Phillips. That is not a number two. 
These are the, the actual brake actuators, the right? Pumps. That's the brake cylinders? Yeah. Those are the pistons, yeah. And that's what pushes the brake stack? Yeah. yeah. Those are the pumps. All right. Cool. You guys got to see something new today. I ain't curious. I'm that one's How about that? How about that? Move your feet. <laughs> no. Oh, no, that one did come loose. Okay. Nice. We got one. Okay. Let's see. This one will play nice. Yep. Yep. Oh, that one. But there's going to be one in every group. Those are called teases. All right, time for the redheaded step yeah, shot. The one, it's, there's one, always one. Oh, oh, nope. Nope. Oh, you got me a hope so uh, far. Me too. Me too. We right. got it. Yay. Impact screwdriver to the rescue, that little guy. Better, we broke the head off of it. One of the two. Well, one of them comes out. There it is. There you go. We got a wiener. Woo. Oh, yeah. Oh. Bent that bottom part real good. Yeah, that's... Wow, look at that. That well, is pretty like mangled. Man. Yeah, I think, too, because it's just here. Maybe we can get the... Uh, see how heat oh, it up look, and look at that. That's where, it it, that's where it rubbed up. Yeah, that's where it rubbed up. Yeah, I mean, if they can get that hot enough and, and either put a rod down in there to expand it again, or it's possible. Yeah, All right. the, where's the pin that broke? Yeah, there's still something because remember, it shouldn't have come out far enough to do that. Uh, well, it, it came out a, far enough and there's wedged. A pin. Yeah. Well, there's a pin that's supposed to. Like on that side over it there. It only comes out like that far. You can't they, physically pull it out oh, far enough. Oh, these pins don't go all the way through. Or they oh, no. Sheared. No, they're sheared. See, yeah. the, the pins are supposed to ride in that. Yeah, that's what, okay, so they're but sheared. They're not in there. Yeah, okay. There you go. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's wow. what I thought. It popped out of the bolt slots. Yep. yep. So we might be able to get that repaired. Yep. All right. All right. Uh, yeah. Excellent nice. job, everybody. Yes, good work, gentlemen. Good work. Very nice. Very nice. All right, let's police up tools. Let's get everything cleaned up. Tires deflated. We're, uh, I think we're all safe, so. Good. All right, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.